All right, Famulem, um, welcome again to um, the final, the final side of um, um, today's. Um, it's not time for friend request, my friend. The final part to uh, this all important um, discussion. This, of course, won't last long. Um, it's just uh, basically about twenty or twenty-five minutes. Um, 20 or 25 minutes left and um been just the yes mr Saidu, welcome to the program um, prince Callon, welcome to the program again i was just saying this is not the final part to um the previous part where been the mini go on and um it's going to take between 15 and 25 minutes this is just the final part and part two to the program. It's just going to take between 15 and 25 minutes. And then we'll bring the program to an end. But like when I hear you, I've been say fumble them. The talk will be the talk now based on the green paper. So this is not to just empty talk. I ask Kuna, and not only based on what me to say, I equally ask Kuna for actually look Try for get a copy of the document yourself and try for look into that document day yourself. Don't just leave it to what I'm saying. And I'm sure say most of the, the audience is not only going to leave it to what I'm saying. But the point here I'm trying to make is like most times we are so lazy when it comes to them paperwork there. We're not going to go read for ourselves. Now that can fester all they hear say and they say. But what I was trying to say about the green paper itself is questionable. Questionable and bias. It is bias. It's a bias document. Some people go and say, how, why, or this is the intention. But of course, the reason, first of all, we make a bias act. We can go over them and not read the entire thing yet. But just the, the idea, the author of the document, what he say inside the document, don't make the document itself bias. The author is the chief minister. I haven't seen any other name for say there are a couple of names you know we author this particular document is a 41 page um document rather from the preface you go see the chief minister in signature dong and this now the chief minister now in footprint they all over um, because this now the man now in now in area of expertise this but when you look at the document you know you they talk about the building block for or an eventual peace resolution conflict and then you begin for accuse the other side not in a sort of mild fashion ladies and gentlemen take a look take a look at the document just from the beginning it's finger pointing it's blaming and i make a say let me not pretend for once that the problems of this country it started only when the slpp took over power let me not pretend for once that the problem of this country started at the loss of the last general elections. These problems go far back. Now, I make if you listen to the head of state in opening remarks at the just ended Bintumani conference, it mentioned Bintumani too. This is critical if we listen and understand why the president mentioned Bintumani too, because Bintumani loomed large under this in second phase of, you know, you being the leader of the country. Because Bintumani, the name Bintumani, it don't become synonymous with peace. The theme na peace. You've been get one way the late uh, and look, God forbid, um, Captain Strasser been on come so popular. There's no if and but about it here. Become so popular, decide for take uniform and manipulate the system to which this current president here we say he won't be having it because not to be in them plan that one day. He was part and parcel of the um, Hunter Day Part One. He said they're not having it. This was not part of their their arrangement. So therefore, he conducted a palace coup. That palace coup in 1996, now he, uh, um, that's 25 years ago. Know this very well, because that's just about the time, you know, my son was born. Okay? So, <laughs> um, now he preside over two, along with the senior key stake player, them. Then stakeholder, they will be there around them, term. heavy names, the Jonas of their time, the Kabaz of their time, you know, many, many heavy names. So this present three will be also meant, you know, for talk about peace, a, consult, a consultative process leading to the communique with and come out with 
for let it go to parliament, you know, yeah, that formative process for going to parliament. So parliaments go look into RAM and come with a formative policy with them for be used, you know, for try for heal the wounds of the country. Unfortunately, I am positing here that it fell far short. And you can hear the frustration that the president in, 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 in voice. Go listen to the president in speech. And that can make anybody frustrated. Because yes, the man is trying to govern. And you got people who are disrupting that governing day. And for tell you say, the government is listening. Now on them basis then they, they make this particular conference. Just on those basis. Now so they take, make this particular conference. Brother Ishmael, welcome to the program. Um, happy to see you on the program. Thanks for um, coming. So now on them basis then they, they organize the conference. But did they do their work well? You know, yeah, when they organized the conference, was it properly organized? Were the stakeholders, all of them involved? Because remember, when the president talk as well, and when you look at the green paper, it talk about the conference being for the entire Sierra Leonean public because it was being done in their behalf. But that should involve all the major stakeholders so in as much as you can invite all of the Sierra Leonean public, but members say not to them all they make decision, I make them mention the word key stakeholders. So these key stakeholders were people who are responsible for make dec making decisions of the state or for people. This go involve parliamentarians them, who are the lawmakers, business people, where they help for push the economy, private and public. Civil servants, public servants, everybody from all walks of life. Unfortunately, it happened in a different way that it fell short of the expectations where the green paper set out for due. Ladies and gentlemen, this is critical, like I said earlier on, because in going forward, remember what the president said that the national cohesion of the country is threatened. I play in tape now part one. I not play all of them. I be one highlight certain part for show some anomalies them. Okay. The president say, um, it's ironical. He say there is peace in our country. But at the same time, we are talking about a peace conference. And when you look at the white paper, it clearly say, I mean the green paper, it clearly say there isn't. Yeah, because the fabric of the society, the thing that we hold with country there, we hold the peace and cohesion. Is crumbling and crumbling fast. That's the absence of peace. That's um, something where they can disintegrate. And not reach critical mass yet, but that's the way it's heading. And because that's the way it's heading, now it makes the president say it necessary. And this was a campaign promise because this is something that he had seen a long time ago. So it not only see her now, but it just don't worse off now. So this nothing we it be not get in mind and it be not say I'm during the first session of the fifth opening of the state of parliament. Usa it be make that promise day apart from in campaign manifesto. So ladies and gentlemen, this is critical. A fine for let we all come together and help in one way or the other for see how we can bring peace in that country day. But bringing peace implies say. Incentives will have to be given. You get for giving incentive them. Okay? Why you call the peace if you're not willing for giving incentive? At the beginning, for feel strongly every day now that this is a political issue. A far away from constitutional issue, it's political. There are issues there relating to constitutionality, the um the numerical strength in parliament and how on dysfunctionalities and the reasons why and the rest of it, but for firm compromise, because it don't become a political situation, this is why they need for sit down, you know, here and talk. And this is something that they can do. I have no doubt in my mind that APC, the All People's Congress, is upset for a few things which I know. One, they, they, they have 16 of the parliamentarians, the issue of Tusim. You see, the conference set about for talk about Boku things they will not talk about. And the unfortunate that key stakeholders then we attend, like Dr. Kane Yumkela, they need to question more. 
It get the gravitas, you know, yeah. Question more, doctor. I always say the um the passion where the doctor been get on the campaign trail before elections and the rest of it, I fail to see it at this particular time. We can understand um uh, that he's got, you know, yeah, like only three um others plus himself making it four in parliament, which makes him you know, you know, yeah, not really of um much significance. But he's in the big house of the people. This is where he's meant to be talking. And when I say talking, I don't just mean, you know, yeah, talking here and there. Because that's not what he does anyway. He's an experienced, you know, civil servant. He's an experienced, you know, strategist. He's an experienced technocrat. They get a combination of all of these. So all we're saying, all those promises that he was making, he stands, you know, yeah, between those promises and the house to be making them, to be challenging, you know, those in the house. But I was saying something like um, on the issue of Tusim, 16 of the APC parliamentarians were petitioned and are now in court as we speak. So in as much as they are in court as we speak, how do you expect the process to go forward when there is one aggrieved side? I also say that the document produced by the chief minister, until I know the others, or whether there were others that produced the document, as at the preface of the document, the chief minister signature is at the bottom of it, taking ownership from the office of the president. So the, the document itself is biased. The blame game is too much inside where you try for resolve political issue. There could have been a different language used, but the language is used in blaming the other side is just too very strong. Finger pointing, and I've lost count of how many times, you know, the other side, the All People's Congress is mentioned in the particular paper up to the ex-president. His name was mentioned several times, holding them directly responsible. I mean, I guess the chief minister could have done far better than this. If he was writing a private paper just for the party, you could understand that where he's coming from. But he was writing a national document. And the fact that he comes from the side that is proposing it, who stands more, you know, yeah, to penalize the other side. I'm not saying that's what he set out to do, but the document of itself speaks for itself. And I'm admonishing you, ladies and gentlemen, go and look at the document yourself. Try to get a copy. It's free, the green paper, and read it line by line. Okay? I would also like to draw your attention to... I think it's section D, 21, 22, and 23. Take a, take a look at it. Take your time. It's 41 pages. Just scrutinize it line by line. And in so doing, we will avoid the unnecessary arguments that we've already started having. I think I've spoken enough on the green paper. And all I'm asking you to do, to do justice to what I've said tonight, to do justice for, to yourself, to do justice to the nation. Have a look. Have a look yourself, please. Now, during the conference, okay, even though there were notable absences of um, major stakeholders, there was also the presence of major stakeholders. One of them was um, Dr. Kandekole Yumkela. He made a proposal, and that proposal is worth debating. And not even one. There were a couple of proposals that Dr. Kande made, but one of the major ones were, um, was... Um, the term of office for a president, and he tried to give a reason why. From this end, I see it um, as weak. Yes, yeah, Sister Fatma Takamara, all the way from the U.S., um, welcome to the program, my sister. Thanks for signing on. It's been a while. I hope you're doing well. Um, I thought the position, of course, a proposal is a proposal. You can look into it and um, look at the merits, the pros and the cons, advantages and disadvantages. It's the, the reason given as to the proposal that make me to question this proposal, which is the term of office of a president. Um, Dr. Kande went on to say that the proposed six to seven year one term of a president will make the president focus on what he is doing, he or she is doing as at the time. Other than focus, and this is where the question comes, other than focus on a second term. Because according to Dr. Kande, and in many respects so, as soon as a president assumes the, um, the office, all they begin to think about is a second term. Of course, 
That's prevalent in, in almost every nation around the world. Yes, sir. That's what they do. But I don't know how much of this discourages them or distract them from doing what they're supposed to do. Because if the political will is there, if the support mechanism is there, if the support structure is there, if the instruments of states are there, if the institutions of states are there and strong and working, if the three branches of government, legislative, judiciary, and executive are working and are co-equals with mutual respect for either side, then of course, the president is bound to do well because it's the checks and balance system which is the problem. I don't see this as the problem of the president. Yes, the president does have a problem, but if the checks and balances are in place, if the institutions are stronger, then it's obvious that the president, in as much as they've got so much power, there will be limitations. So what about leg the issues of legacy? Because this is an underlining factor in every presidency the world over. They think about projects that they do. Let's say the example of um, 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 the current president. His biggest program or his flagship project is the um, quality and free education, which is currently having many ifs and buts. So along the way, they have to be fixing it here and there, fine-tuning it for it to work. And trust me, his time of office is never going to be enough. And most presidents would like to see at least a project through. So this is where the logic of a second term comes in. In continuation of what you are doing. So if you remain focused, a four-year or five-year term or six-year term will limit you so, you know, those projects, which can be far-fetched, because sometimes for a project to sink in, imagine, sir, and I expect you to know this, that um, you, you enact a law or you are after a law to go through a parliament. That law comes through. You forward it um, to parliament to deliberate. No law. The proposal comes through, like the project that we are talking about, this proposal for a peace uh, 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 um, document which is going to be uh, based on some policy derived from the just-ended Bintumani consultative process, which has fell far short of the expectations because the key players, major key players were absent. So the consultative process in itself cannot go forward in the absence of those people. So the president would then have to go to the drawing board with his team because he's not going to leave them out. I hear some people say, now we mad up you, they take them, and the rest of it. Come on. Go back and listen to the president's speech. All you hear the president talking about is a democratic process. It's a democracy. Can't you listen to the president even whether you are for or are against? It's a democratic process. It's not a military junta. It's not a rule by decree. It's a process. So in as much as the president wields plenty of power, there are still restrictions to the president's, um, the things that the president can do. And furthermore, he has to be seen in a good light. So away from home, where you have a parliament, there's also the issue of the international community. There are also the issues, you know, here with things that are tied to you, your obligations, both within and without. So you have to conduct yourself within that frame. So people need to understand this, that the president can get upset and might want to do things and can do things, but he does so at his own peril. So the term of office I was speaking to will not really be enough for a, pop, a president, and this is significant, to accomplish a particular goal that he set out to accomplish. So most times it's the second term. And one of the reasons why they set up the second time, I know Dr. Kande Yumkela said, one of the reasons is to satisfy some of its customers because it's become a clientele thing. But it's not only that, sir. It's again because of such a thing that I am saying to see a particular project through. And I've given example as the president's flagship program. Sometimes it's not necessary that you have to be the one to see it through. But at least you have to sit down and see it take shape. Let's say 
where the flagship program is at now in terms of the, the um, free and quality education, it is absolutely not satisfactory and the president would like to see more. And he knows that there are building blocks that he has to add on top of the foundation to continue to rock solid his program. Now, if that does not happen, assuming, hypothetically speaking, in this five-year period, and the term was meant to be a five-year, he will have effectively been a failure. Which president will want to resign on those bases or leave office on those bases? So legacy is quite, quite critical. I will even advocate that they should be given more time. But again, we'll leave that for another day. But the issue here is it's not only one of the presidency, but one of our, <laughs> but one of our um, institutions. We have to empower, make sure that our institutions are strong, make sure that our people are more effective, that they understand the constitution because the sovereign government derives its sovereign power from the people which it governs. Away from the people, the government is nothing. So I've heard these arguments like, Nothing can happen until the presidency changes. No, we the people can effect that change. Haven't we seen some parts of the world where people just go, get fed up and say, look, enough is enough that this government will have to change or they will have to go? Of course. Of course, uh, Mr. 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 Rogers. I've just made the case, if you, if you listen, and this was just a submission. Somebody made a submission like Dr. Kanda Yumkela on one time and he gave a reason and it's that reason that I'm trying to unpart, you know, bit by bit. Yes, it did make sense, but there are, um, some of it doesn't and that's just a fact because what the doctor was saying is because these governments focus on a second time, as soon as they assume office, they get distracted. And they focus on, you know, you're bringing in their own people and the rest of it. But is that really going to stop the, a government from bringing in its own people? Now, let's be critical. Let's think about it. That proposal will have to really be critically look at and try to see why did the doctor, in all due respect, made that proposal. We have to look at it deeply, holistically. And I've just given the reason why. His Excellency Julius Marabio has got a flagship program, the Free and Quality Education, that is tethering. It hasn't taken, you know, yet the, 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 the focus, the step, the consolidation that the president. Yeah, what did he say, sir? Correct me. What did he say? What did he say? I would like to hear what did he say. I know he talked about, you know, yeah, like Ghana and Kenya, they've got a peace, a, a transition commission. Yeah. But are you telling me that Dr. Kande did not mention, you know, yeah, um, a seven year term, a six or seven year term as per president? Didn't he say that? Didn't he mention countries where that is already in play? I think it's, um, it's um, Mexico. I think Mexico has got a seven-year term president, one-term president. So anyway, correct me if I, if I am wrong there, okay? Correct me if I'm wrong, sir. So we have to look at what makes a government you know, yeah, effective. A government has to invest in its people, has to make opportunities available, but a people can really, really be strong when they know exactly where they stand. A people can influence the shape of government. You see, I was just saying something that in other parts of the world, like in Sudan in recent times, and there are other countries as well in which people got fed up and say, enough is enough, the government needs to go. And they took to the street and made the ultimate sacrifice. This is the sacrifice that we are not willing to make. And simply because either we are too laid back Either we are too complicit, either because of regional or tribal lines in our government, which is outlined in the green paper, by the way, as one of the issues that need to be resolved, or because of entrenched politics, because of the corrosive nature of our politics, because of our design, we're not willing to take that step. Sometimes power can trickle from down up. You take to the, let one million people take to the streets now in Sierra Leone. I'm not calling for that now. I do respect democracy. I'm just being hypothetical. You know, government change. One million people take to the street, two million people. Government is finished. And from that process can be born a new process. 
These are just facts. But we've already gone with the resign, you know, your preconceived notion like nothing that we can really do to effect change in our government. This is not simply true. It's simply not true. Okay. So I think the brother has made a contribution. He said he thinks the one term, six or seven year term will be good because of the pressure the incumbents have in finding jobs for the boys or the, gov or the government programs. He made reference to President Kabale. But what did I say? <laughs> I just said the same the same thing, sir. He said six or seven year term. Two reasons he gave. I listened to him. I came to the studio fully armed, fully, fully armed, read largely the green paper from which I'm speaking from, listening to Dr. Kande Yumkela what he said. Okay? But I know some of us have the notion, you know, yeah, he's the doctor. He cannot be, you know, yeah, critique. Yeah, which I find amazing. But I did listen to him and I listened to him keenly. And what you've just posted there, even though you said when I repeated it, that's not what he did say. But yes, it's the same thing. He called for a six or seven year term because of distraction. Because as soon as a president is voted into office, he starts thinking about a six, seven, uh, I mean, his um, following term, a second term, and about bringing the boys in. But he did say that, you know, yeah, that's where the distraction comes from. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, um, furthermore, furthermore to this, I am saying during the peace conference, this peace conference, this just gone peace conference, which fell far short, <laughs> fell far short of the objective, okay, because the senior stakeholders are not there. This, in my humble opinion, sets up the platform for potentially a bin to money for. Again, I'm urging family to go and read the green paper. Please do go and read the green paper. I spent days reading this green paper. Okay? Made notes on the green paper. If you are asking to make peace, if you want to make peace, if you want to be the godfather, you have to provide incentives. In the green paper, there are too many accusations too many finger pointing. Of course, this is what makes the document bias. It was written by Professor Francis, the president's man from the office of the president who serves at the pleasure of the president. The rest is up to the public to adjudicate whether he will say order than what he had there. You would think that in natures of this kind, you will find interlocutors, independent ones, Although they are difficult to find. Probably they are. But they are really difficult to find. Yeah, DJ Million, send me an invite. I've used a different platform. This is the second part of the program. I had to extend it. But send me an invite, okay? Um, since it's not an interview, you can keep your phone in a vertical position. Send me an invite. I will accept it. And then we can um, have a conversation and try to close the program. And try to close the program. Yeah, just send me the invite. Then we'll try to close the program. Okay. Very, very important. Yeah. Very, very important. Okay. Yeah, DJ Million, send me send me an invite. I would like really to bring you on so we can have a discussion from a different perspective. Um fully um, um Thomas Roger, what is the meaning of green paper, sir? Well, I guess that you will know what a green paper is, okay? This is the green paper. The green paper is um, termed Building an Architecture for Peace. If you were listening earlier on, I thought you joined the program late anyway. Um, the green paper came about as a consequence of a request or, or um, election manifesto by His Excellency, Retired Brigadier Julius Madabio. During campaign in the manifesto of SLPP stroke power power, he said this is exactly what he was going to do, surely win power, because he did observe the corrosiveness um, or nature of our politics, the divisiveness, the regionalism and tribalism were all identified, which had been crumbling under the old government of the APC under Anes by Koroma. That should he be voted to power, he will call a peace conference, a consultative peace conference, which will lead up to a paper, a white paper, 
which will come from Parliament based on the communique or the results from this just-ended conference. So on that basis, the green paper was written. I hope I've made that clear, sir. We were told that a consultant was hired by the name of Hawa Samai and not Professor Francis who wrote it. Well, okay. Yeah, that's what we were told. I haven't seen that, but I'm not disputing that. I am only looking at the paper. I don't see an author, but at the preface, the preface of the paper, the bottom of that paper, there is the signature of the Professor Francis at the bottom. And since I didn't see any other, I just concluded that this is the handwork of Professor Francis, if you see where I'm coming from. Okay, uh, I think I've addressed enough. We can move on, um, um, Mr. Um, Rogers. Thanks for the engagement as usual. Really appreciate it. Um, Casada Kitchen, I want to talk to you. Yeah, thanks for um, um, an invite. I want for you to stay there, Casada Kitchen. I would really like to hear your position. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I want to present to you um, a brother and a friend and an activist. Um, this is his first time on the program, I believe, is um, Theophilos um, Millon, Morris. Morrison Millon. Morris. Morris, yeah. Morris Million, yeah. So um, commonly known as DJ Million. DJ Million, welcome to the program, my friend. Yes, thank you very much. I hope you're hearing me. Loud and clear, and I guess the audience is hearing you oh, loud and clear as well. Yeah, sorry, I'm just getting off work. I have to pull over so that I can, I can um, contribute a little bit. Um, just give me a second. That's, um, that's, all right. Um, in the middle. That's of the absolutely road, fine, sir. Um, yeah, take take your time and I park. We engage is... the audience while you are trying to park. Okay, 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 okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Like I was saying, we've got a guest, and um, um, we're going to try to engage the guest. This guest is a uh, is wonderful. I've seen his contributions, his writings, and the rest of it. And um, trust me, you're going to like the conversation. When I say like the conversation, I'm talking about those with an open mind. Okay, those with an open mind. Anyway, I think I've addressed the issue of the of the green paper. Okay, so the author might the author or authors might be different. Like uh, my brother said, um, a, a name called Samai was mentioned, but I'm just saying the preface because that's the only name that I saw there. I'm assuming that the rest of the paper was either done single-handedly by Professor Francis or as a team with um, the Samai um, lady. Yeah, but I stand to be corrected. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. So, okay, my brother, thank you for coming on the program. First of all, just to give you a heads up, um, the issue mm. being discussed today, like I said, it's a second part, but I don't mind extending it because we got a significant number of people watching us and a, a good number is going to be watching us. As I look now, we've got people from Australia. Brother Blango, welcome to the program. You will be coming on the program soon. And um, Canada and, of course, the United States and Europe, where we are. Um, we were talking about the recently ended Bintumani conference, okay? We talked about the formative stage, the consequence, the results, and the rest of it. And some people, there's a school of thought in which some people believe that the conference was a failure, it was ill-timed, and therefore it sets up a platform for Bintumani for and the government did not do its due diligence. And right now, here we are. What's your take, sir? OK, um, first of all, I appreciate um, the invitation you sent to me in your, the forum that you, you set aside for people to debate the daily matters and issues in Sierra Leone. And I can attest to it that it's one of the best group I've been in. You know, even though we sometimes go at each other, but it's good that we are learning and there are people from different parties that are represented in that group. Uh, let me come, let me go straight to the point. First of all, uh, my take on this um, Bintumani or this peace thing, for me, I think the government of the day is not sincere with the people. The reason why I said so, they, uh, as you just said, they had this in their manifesto. And right after elections, there are a lot of post-election violence that, that went on in that country. Not a single word came from the president to show that he meant what he had uh, or they had in their manifesto. 
they allowed this thing to drag on, drag on, drag on until people became hot, angry, and our nation as it is, is divided. We all know, even though some people are trying to say, no, Sierra Leone is not divided, but we are divided. And then at the end of the day, they decided to call Benjamin three. The planning was poor. The invitations, invitation letters to various party came in very late. It's like somebody in the midst of the government is not giving good advice. And uh, in the midst of this Benjamin three, there were still and are still things going on to show that these people are not ready for peace. There is a reason for this Bintumani tree that they don't want to tell us. In the midst of this Bintumani tree, they, we've had complaints that people are complaining that they've been sacked off their jobs because they, they, they work for APC and all the stuff. But as this Bintumani tree is going, these things kept going on. So for me, the atmosphere, it's like these people have a different planning about this uh, or what, what they're, they're, they're trying to achieve behind this Bintumani tree. But they're not serious. And let's say, okay, our APC brother did not attend. For me, it should have been a good platform for them to go there and say what's bothering them. That could have been a platform for them to go and hammer the issues that they are complaining about. But they choose not to attend. That is, their own, they have their own reason. I'm happy that the person that I follow, we went there because it was a national call. Anything that has to do with national, I think political parties and people should go and support. Um, my take, <laughs> what, I'm say, what I want to say here is, I know some people will see it like, ah, <laughs> this guy, he doesn't like SLPP or whatever it is. But like, let me tell you, I can say today, I can say tomorrow. Until I see things change, I will continue to say the, the same thing. The SLPP are not serious when it comes to peace. Because right after this um, Bintumani tree, we saw a lot of newspaper, new, newspapers coming out. And most of the messages on these newspapers are too pro provocative. And, and, I, I, and I'm sure most of them are, are aware of this. Like the paper that, the, that came from the AYV that says 1975. Some of us were not yet born. Um, these were the people executed by APC. And the AYV is headed by somebody who is part of the SLPP government. If these people were serious about peace, such um, um, articles will not come out. What they will be doing now, they should be going after the APC, no matter their boycott, but show to the people, show to the world that we are ready for peace. We are coming again. But they are using social media, using other platforms, sending provocative messages to the APC, trying to provoke them, and the people on the other side are getting more angry. How can you tell me that you, 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 you set up uh, a, 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 a national coalition a, a meeting or conference for peace and such things are going and you are in power, you can control these things. They are not serious about what they are preaching. Too much propaganda, and it's not working. Propaganda cannot push our country into development. You have to be sincere. This, we're in the 21st century. We are no longer in the 1980s and, and 70s. Wherein you have to write a letter and post it two months for it to come to the diaspora for somebody to see. Something mm. can happen right here and you can be in Australia, you can get it. And people are getting educated each and every day. So we have to see what you preach yeah. for us to believe. We cannot sit on social media for people to just write articles, oh, uh, I'm, I'm talking do, we are doing this, and people are not seeing it. When you yeah. say peace, when you say peace, you must pursue peace. We all know what is peace. We are not kids. Even the small, kid, um, the small children, they understand when a place is calm, when a family is at peace, they know it. In a home where mom and dad argues, a little child will say, mom, dad, why are you always arguing? They know a peaceful atmosphere. They know a calm situation. So you cannot come and fool us that you are, you are, you are setting up a, 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 a conference for peace and then what's going on in the, the political atmosphere doesn't show peace. It's sad. They have yeah, to be very... serious about it.
Yeah, very, very uh, uh, sad indeed. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you know, yeah, in the current uh, situation of the kind of politics that we practice in which when one speaks, you know, yeah, immediately begin, you know, yeah, some sort of blame game. We've heard just a tip of what the brother has said, and I just wanted to make it clear, and at some point he did make it clear that he is not an APC fan because I know our politics that we talk about, when you criticize the order, then that means you belong to the order. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. the brother is not. I just wanted to make this clear. Now, Mr. Um, Theophilus, um, mm -hmm. it's clear from what you've said that the current government set the pace for a failure because they they never had a political you know yeah will you know yeah to make this thing succeed because obviously they could have done the things that you've just attributed to should they or if sure. they had wanted this to succeed do you think sure. it's the president or the chief minister or do you think it's both or what do you think is driving this campaign for not wanting you know yeah peace to prevail in the country well for me let me i'll make this clear I'm a man, whatever I say, I stand by it. And I, I, when I, whatever I say, I, I, I get myself prepared for the future to defend it. And you know me in the group. I always talk about one thing. That's tribalism. When we vote for people that practice tribalism, they will never make good um, decision on a country. Whatever thing, they will be pushing to, to, to achieve, it will go and flow under tribalism. Our problem in Sierra Leone, you know, we always try to put our region, our tribe and party in front, in front of our country's um, issues. This is why when we go there and vote, we vote people who after coming into power, after, after attaining power, they bring people around them that they speak the same, same language. And when you, 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 you dare say something, you say, oh, we don't want people to undermine us. So in the midst of that, the ideas will always be faulty because if I have you as my brother, we speak the same language, and I don't want to lose you tomorrow when election comes, whatever advice you give to me, I'll try to satisfy you. Yeah. I cannot sit down and see, will this thing benefit the people i'll try to satisfy you because i need your vote i need your support you are seen as a popular figure when election come i would like to, i want to go present you to your people in in magorka where you tell oh this is now a brother i will vote for him this is the reason this is the problem and the SIPP are facing there are brothers in around the president they speak the same language some of them went to the same school and a lot of them, they claim to be educated, but some of them lack common sense. When it comes to politics, they are still dwelling in that independence generation pattern style of politics. They travel to the diaspora, they see all the development, they enjoy all the facilities, but when they go back home, they practice the same old thing our great parents were practicing. They fail to advise, give good advice. Anybody come and say, Prezo, that's in there. It is work all we do them. He say, ah, okay, go, you go to one, no more, go to them. Just to please. You please the people and forget to please the people who gave you job. So the reason, the reason why you see all these things uh, are happening in our country, I think the president, he ha there are a lot of people around him who are seeking their own interests. They want their say. They want what they tell the president. That's what he should work on. Our chief minister, I don't think that man is, is I, I, I don't think that man is, <laughs> he knows anything about running a country, I don't think. And I believe the president is taking a lot of advice from him. I don't think that guy is, he must go back to the classroom and lecture. For our colleges, we are looking for lecturers. But when it comes to uh, our, our, our country, country's matter, politics, I don't think he's fit. Because most of the decisions and most of the things he says out in public, when you look at it, you say, come on. And for instance, the one percent thing. For instance, another new video telling the people that this time, Napati, Napati Tim. Absolutely. So all those things Absolutely. which common sense will tell you that these people are not fit to be running a, a social club. Let's let's our, our, our country. You know, the president himself, let's say maybe we had allegations against him, maybe in the past. You know, he did something. But now I believe he came back to 
to, to make a statement. But because of the people around him, he's dancing with them. They're still swimming in the, in the pool of ignorance. Nothing is working. Just uh, the, the, the supporters <coughs> every day on social media just pro, um, doing propaganda and all this. But when it comes to the interests of the people, mm -mm. Chief Minister, I think <laughs> Mr. Bio needs to, he needs to, to, to think twice and get better people to give him advice. So I think the problem is the people advising. The Chief Minister is not, that guy is not loaded. Um, one of the importance of good governance, um, um, Theophilos, is um, mm -hmm. the, it's about, um, we don't talk much about the environment. We don't talk much about food security. We don't talk about shared prosperity because we can always set we standard low. Mostly Africans, you know, yeah, and most especially Sierra Leoneans, just a little bit comfortable with what we've got. Um, this government always they tell we about raise revenue when the revenue is raised, and at some point we never hear nothing at all. But I really want to talk about the state of good governance, which is for support public structure them and have an all-inclusive economy, promote your people them, make sure say they are part of the decision making process, free from fear, harassment, and detention. Would you say whether we people and currently are enjoying any of these? Um, that question is if if I believe you, I forgive you one one part of that question <laughs> is, because <laughs> brother, um, uh, let's, let, let, I, 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 I'm happy that you break it down because we get some people and we you know this is what we have to do if we want to be honest to our country. You and you know me well. Say I always got people for using grammar and all that thing and the now the kind environment we get for we country because you know an educated man for be smart enough for no see we people then we uh, we we illiteracy um i'm ready they high so if you want for communicate for contribute so we country you get for try for communicate to that level like places like ghana places like um nigeria we get a lot of, they get a lot of TV station that when they use in local language, then I forget about the people and we not go to school. All right. So yeah. when you communicate with them, these people, one, then go know that, then go begin know them, right? They let them not go to school, then go begin know that, then duty when they come to politics and in country, and then they go will help them for decide who that they vote for. But you ask the question, say, if we people and they enjoy. Maybe what an officer will people they enjoy another country day. No. And even the one that where they see on the argue on social media for them, bad people they are, they say that they enjoy. The problem where we the first as Sierra Leoneans, now this big tribalism, regionalism, now they don't, they don't inject inside we to the extent that even when we better than the follow we, we tend the support, we tend the defend, we tend the battle, we don't even die for them people. But we basic needs, you know, they, Nasara Leon, the basic needs, we people need to enjoy them. Right. In the 21st century, when you look at Sierra Leone, you check out the world, the amount of meaning as a way, then don't fend at the world. I believe so, we nearly get half of it. But up till now, we people never get basic, clean drinking water. Yep. Places and the way people and they go for go get water. Now under gutter, the pipe then they go cut them and then they drink from that dirty water. They evaporate. They come up. They go. Now make people they die. Basic water they not get. Basic, basic um, health facility they not get. Even the okay. education they talk quality. It's all a hoax. People and they enjoy nothing in that country, Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. I, I, I'm I'm really excited, and I'm sure say the audience are really excited. You know, at having you on the program because you seem to be sharp shooting and shooting from the lip, and that's been really really direct. I want to go back to mm. the green the green paper and ask you a few questions inside the green paper. Okay, one sure. of the reasons that um, the authors of the green paper set out, uh, you know, for carry out the president in request on mandate. Now, the reemergence of tribal and regional politics mm -hmm. is critical. And I mention this because I really want to ask you your opinion for offer your opinion on this. Because after they don't say that, mm -hmm. because now that you just speak to this now, a present, but yeah. the paper sort of only finger point 
many a times, you know, you're to one side of the political argument, which is the All People's mm -hmm. Congress. And they even went on, you know, yeah, a couple of times, you know, yeah, for mention the former leader, which they are right to do, but it seems like um, there's an imbalance, you know, yeah, there. And Italic said the problem only begin yesterday. So what thing are you take on this? Who that then, who that respond, now one, now one person responsible for this or now the political establishment responsible for this will go imply all of them? Okay, you, you they ask about it, Skybal. Um, um, okay. Like I say, this uh, just just now. We problem now with country, that they let nobody know, let nobody know when we program, not Skybalism. Okay? Me no man, when the APC been in a power, the one that we know me, know how hard I go on APC. Okay. And the SLPP, when they're in a power, we get for go hard. Going hard at them people there, not to hate, we hate them. We get for giddy opposition, where the, AP, the SLPP fail for giddy, the APC. Okay. Talking about tribalism, we brought down. And say, <laughs> I'm telling you, you know, until a lot of people that unite and begin to speak with one voice, like how me and you they do, we can't you know, go before. Skypalism, a day na the political na the politician in hand as a tool for play with people. Because that the only message that they then they use for get themselves into power. Now we take what's in our apple now. Okay, what's in our apple in the past, they use them. But now, it don't too much because the expectation of we Sierra Leone and them by this new government, they don't let we down. We all been vexed by the APC or how things they may go. We not be the state cabal, you know, they inside APC. But the way out with the sense now now we can't keep is heavy. Because what you know, the president is itself. In, in thank you to a gonna bow or Kenema at the south, they tell the people inside me they say this is not their own turn. But if forget say it take out say in a, a president for the nation. But it go down there, go tell and say this is not their own turn. In the midst of all that post election uh, uh, and intimidation, all in there, you know, say one word for his all intention, day, but it go down there. And talking inside Mendy, that's now a signal for sure. Say, Una young picking don't come, Una young brother don't come, Una ready for support, even though the people don't get their basic needs, but they use the tribal injection for chukri people inject and say, I don't can our own government this. So, a day okay. inside now, a day inside, a day inside now, and when we see all the sackings, the mentality of the people now will come to you low. We see all the sackings, people will just eh. But this guy don't go down and talk say put on them. They they sack sack people no more. And most of ninety percent people they sack na 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 not na. So it, the division go day and people they see and so. Then they see and so because they get other people them where then on social media where some of them get found on the government then they bring up the same thing. Like for instance, look what happened yesterday when I shall win the case. You know, believe say a strong SLPP man, SLPP man. And the talk say, I shall win the case because I shall not kill. <laughs> Can you imagine? So it's <laughs> like, they not say the tribalism, they work in the country. So now they're tool, they're not going to they go kill them. They're not going to make that thing they come out. They're not going to make and go put in a, na, 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 na statement, na, 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 na conference, peace conference, over for things. But they're not serious about fighting it because now they're tool. Now they make, you go in the south, you go in the south, and put... Uh, DJ, lest you get too passionate about the issue of tribalism just because of time, I really want to touch on a few issues there because time is fast catching okay, up sure, with one. Sure, because sure, it sure. sounds like um, if we take what you say, it's like it's hypocritical of um, the current government for raising the is, issue is. of um, you know, yeah, division when they in the Stockholm. Uh, okay. Um, I want again, let me go inside the recent uh, heart of the uh, Bintumani 3 um, conference. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. First of all, do we have any idea of um, the cost? Because it seemed to have been a very elaborate conference. And if you fail for uh, as uh, um, get in desired objective, then obviously it sounds like um, a failure. 
if we can, if we can call and so. So that in itself um, imply loss, big losses in terms of waiting and injecting to them. Because there's an argument out there that um, um, peace no get price. And there's a school of thought that say, no, 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 peace does have a price and it comes at a price. What's your take, sir? Okay. okay. Um, um, first of all, I don't know the, the, the um, cost. I don't know the cost, but maybe, the, but maybe don't make the, 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 the statement say this not just unnecessary. I will draw and go see them pan. Because me, you <laughs> see, they're not sincere in waiting and waiting and do. But you, the following question, I'm not getting time because I mean, they read somebody in, in, in message Thomas Rogers. I want just one for um, give statement to Thomas. Thomas Rogers, I don't talk because I hate SIPP. If you want the video, just um, send message to me, messenger. Then I go check your number and send the video to you. And they say things, my integrity, it pass. <laughs> social media I pass Facebook and I just said things because I get evidence. All right. So you can send message to me that I will send the video for you. Let you say self watch them. Yeah. And I'm um, come back to uh we brought uh, I don't get I don't get the, the cost, but again, like I say, me me own take on that whole thing now a waste. Now a waste. If president one piece, if he really one piece, like I can sit on an office. If they make Christmas message, it goes sit down there, invite the APC and the SLPP and the other party them, then can sit on a state house, it give them a hug, it talk with the heart, say me, people them, no matter what you know happen in this country, me are ready for work with the APC, for work with the NGC, for get advice from the APC, get from the NGC, from the C4C, now we push we country go before. Do ya? If now a man was sincere, I want peace. He goes, say, do you have a check out Beguna? Una carry we set up a unity office where you una all the operate. Now, una give you idea for the sake of people. But going all there and I'll just show off and your bluff now, just unnecessary. I will just unnecessary. Okay, DJ Min. Um, again, going back to the heart of the conference, I want to we talk about a few speakers that we, we don't listen to. One person uh, will. Sorry, I'm not going to word. I'm not going to. I don't cut you word. Well, I they, I they respond to Thomas again because in look in look <laughs> the tense. Thomas, you say you we are told that UNDP actually funded the Bintumani three. You know, this is a nice idea for make you tell the government say let them tell UNDP say there are a lot of things we for spend money for. When I give we can fail that all the do give that money we spend them for them. Then they go waste them. The country can I say the money no do. The same way that they get that opportunity, what's some way they can pay for conference? Why not tell you NDP say we the do them? But please, now we know we stand on a good amount of one power team, but we keep all the do them. Then they do on the right way. Okay, Mr. Thomas. Okay, yeah. Mr. Thomas, Mr. Thomas, you can hear me the guest self. I know say you say la or you uh, uh, guess blah blah blah, but you can see the guest self they follow the train. You see, the man on the program today is um a multitask man so even though it is zooming on me but at the same time if they watch the chat room and know it's gone and you can see it don't respond to a couple of your postings and he even promise you where you want question about that video what happened above they don't promise you say go send them to you so my brother hold you hold you peace okay um, um <laughs> we know the pan say ayeri say if you get proof <laughs> for no saying that you NDP fund the program, where we set the challenge you for providing that proof there, okay? <laughs> yeah, exactly. We are talking from exactly. the beginning of the program, say today we will not depend then say, we they talk <laughs> in black and white and they make references to documents them where we get access to. So we they talk about a green paper produced and I in with a look today, the green paper, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, I they ask you now for share this video far and wide. And just a reminder again, we get a very active brother, politically active, social media active um, brother DJ, commonly known as DJ Million, Theophilus Morrison. Welcome again to the program, my brother. Um, just now, the recent ended um, Thank you very much. Uh, Bintumani 3 conference, there were many speakers, mm -hmm. okay? Um, one of the speakers, where mm -hmm. people in the talk about left, right, and center, but of course, others are trying to demean and attack in character. Now, a lady mm -hmm. of the Bar Association called um, Michael, Batista Michael. I don't mm -hmm. know whether you don't listen to what the woman say, because I have. And um, if well, you don't listen, yeah. 
actually you have I don't a... listen to it, but I don't listen to it, but I don't listen to it because okay, you know, that's that's fine. Um, that's fine. I'll move on. I will move I will move I will move on. I will move on. I will move on from there. No, I, just want, it, I, I don't listen to it. I don't listen to it, but are there people in the attack him and say because he um he talked something um we at least at at this I, I, I think he hit government. But I no, just want to say no. Was it not the reason why they call people who can't say their mind? <laughs> That's the reason. So if the lady talk, why would you attack a lady? Where is all this hands of our girls and women thing that we can't hear? Women are not for their voice now we can't hear. The lady say what in the name man and the truth. Or then glad when people can sit on the talk say, and it's called my thief. This and that thief, then the thief. Um, she a if you go and over money, this and that. They're happy for that. But now they don't mind and they say they don't let people attack them. But when people say they mind, no problem. This is it, Nasser yeah. Leon. When you they say something, when you say something, once it not switch you, people got you. <laughs> but the truth careful, the truth careful come out. <laughs> I would okay. never listen to that lady. Yes, please, please do, because um, from all indication. The lady deliver a very, very powerful speech. And knowing the mindset of um, our people, um, on either side, if you see one side, they attack one side, then no say you either speak against the other side. But in this case, yeah. for what you understand, she never Definitely. spoke against the other side. She only spoke the truth. And the truth obviously will go to the offender. The truth. So the offender feels offended and the minions then gonna groan and begin for attack. Batista should not be attacked. I think Thomas Rogers don't put something there again, which is this time he tried to be very objective and fair because she should not, but she's been attacked. And in character, not to the substance of what he say, mm -hmm. that's the unfairness of waiting in the Deuteronomy. They begin to allude to issues going back. Mm -hmm. And the woman, a lawyer, if you offer opinion, then the opinion can change now. You know, yeah, I'm, I'm not a lawyer, by the way, so I'm not going to go there. But again, Going back to the heart of the conference, you know, yeah, to, did you listen to any of the speakers, by the way, DJ Million? Well, uh, honestly, I tell you, say, for me, being too many um, three, now an unnecessary, I would <laughs> the, more, the, the fact that they say national call, it was good. But maybe don't know, say, something Debian being too many three. These people are not serious about it. Right until after you don't have begin to see what's in the people and newspaper all the that is it's not a peaceful, it's not a peaceful thing. You know, I'm happy okay. that the NGC participates because it's a national call, but for me, a uh, waste. So I don't get time for listening. I don't get time. Okay, fair, 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 fair enough. Ladies and gentlemen, again, please don't forget, share the video wide and clear. Invite family and friends, not forget, this is important. These debates are important, and the debates will be holy and an open debate. This is not a debate of belonging, you know, here, here and there. Only the country is between us and the country come first. And let me keep them very, very open. DJ Million, I want you to offer an opinion on the attendance of the APC giant, Alpha. How do you see this? I mean, if a party takes a position that they will not be attending for reasons which they have given or reasons, 